rates are lower and we expect more of that. They did not change rates one way or the other. So that was good. The stock market reacted very positively. Hey guys, welcome to another Monday market update with the dynamic duo Stephanie and Rosella over in Spokane. Hi ladies, how are you? Hello. Great. We've been to have a lot of chat off screen here about some exciting stuff. Um, first of all, the Fed met the last couple of days. They released their update, their press conference, to tell them what the Fed's going to do. And the short version of this is they're going to keep rates steady. They're, they did not change rates one way or the other. So that was good. The stock market reacted very positively. It actually hit record territory. Rates have been acting, expecting that and acting positively as well, which means coming down. So rates are lower and we expect more of that. And Jerome also said that they anticipate at least three times decreasing rates in 2024 and another three or four times in 2025. And he's hedging his bet because it depends, of course, on lots of things. But mostly, as the Fed, you know, their primary mandates are inflation keeping it down and employment keeping it up. And Inflation has come down quite considerably, and the news was good. Again, that's why they held rates steady. And employment is, is still good, but although it, the economy has softened, and that's what they've been wanting to see. So that's good overall. What do you think, ladies? Well, uh, we were kind of questioning how we would be going into the new year, and so hearing yeah. that, it's really great to hear because people were kind of not sure it was going to go that way. So that's yeah. awesome. Yep, yep, yep. Refinances actually increased nationwide by 26% year to date from last year. Really? So that doesn't mean it's booming with refinances. It just means that people are starting to liven up and rates have come down and there's a lot of debt consolidation, I think, going on and people are taking cash out for certain purposes. So it's it's good overall for the housing economy. It was a good uh, reading from the Fed. Perfect. So probably reassuring um, for anybody who has maybe been sitting on the fence or just kind of watching and waiting to see like, oh, what should I do? Um, especially right now, like that coming in with the last few weeks of the year, um, people can still make those financial moves as we've talked about in previous times, like especially investors or um, people that have liquidated or sold and they need to move money. They now know how they can move it and maybe have a little bit more confidence with their purchases. So that's that's good for me to hear. Um, and it'll also help me with giving guidance as well to my clients that are now like, OK, now what? <laughs> yeah, it was positive news overall and consistent yeah. with what we've been saying, guys, if you're interested in purchasing a home, now is as good as time as any. Rates will probably still continue to come down. However, the, the, the what happens with rates come down, you know, the other side of that coin is that housing prices are going to start to go up because there'll be more people in the market wanting to buy and we have supply and demand going the way it does and pushing prices up. So anytime is a good time to buy as long as you get a good deal. And these two ladies can find a good deal for you. I assure you of that. And if prices don't go up and they do stay steady, I will say this. The only other thing that you're going to do is you're going to start to see more competition come back out because people are going to become mm -hmm. more confident, like I said. With that. So it may not be your prices going up because of people putting you know, the prices up. It could just be driven up because of competition again. So avoid the competition. Thank you.